Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to John's Garage Door and Opener Tutorials. In this safety tip, I'll be going over the safety feature of the garage door opener, also known as the safety sensors. Now, here we have a Genie garage door opener, which was made in the 2000s. And yes, this motor does require safety sensors. If you bought a garage door opener that didn't require safety sensors, which was one of the 1980s machines or the 70s, and if you and if you ever try running, if you sorry, I'm losing words right now. But if you run under it while it's closing, you can, you can end up getting crushed on. And a lot of people have died from that. Yeah, not so safe. One of the current machines require safety sensors. If you try operating your garage door opener, you, and it does require safety sensors. If you don't have safety sensors hooked up to it, the motor's not going to work. But the door will open, but not close. On some machines, it doesn't even open or close with no safety sensors. But on this one, the door will open, but doesn't close. The reason why it opens without the safety feature, because the motor has no reaction to the safety features when it's whenever it's opening. But if you close it, with the safety features being interrupted, you can see the door doesn't go to, go down. Only goes down part way. But if you open it, but if you hit it again, it goes back up into the open position. But if you press and hold it, if you let it off of it, it just goes back up. But if you ever try doing it with a remote, it doesn't even work at all. But on this motor, we have safety sensors hooked up to it. And now we're gonna now we're gonna take a look at them. Now as you can see this side over here, which is called the setting side, you see we have a nice solid green light, nothing splashing or flickering. That's a traditional setting side. Now this side over here is the receiving side. Yes, we see a blinking red light. If you see that, that means something's blocking it or if it's not lined up. If you see that blinking red light and there's nothing blocking it, that means the safety sensors are not lining up. They have to be pointing to each other in order for the motor to work. Like I said, if that's flashing, something's blocking it, or if it's not pointing to that side. So they have both they both have to be lined up. So we're gonna move this thing out of the way. You can see that red light comes back on. Now we're gonna try to close the door. We hit the button. You can see the door close. Like I said, if you ever try blocking a safety sensor, you try opening it. Like I said, the motor has no reaction to safety sensors when it's going up. But another thing with the safety sensors, if you try blocking it or if it comes out of alignment when the door is closing, it'll stop and go back up on every motor that has safety sensors, not just the Genie, on every motor. So if you ever try blocking it when it's closing, on anywhere when the door is going down, not just in any position, but if you block it, the door just stops and goes back up. It doesn't matter what position, any position where the door is going down, if you block it, like I said, it just stops and goes back up. This also, this video also helps if you have problems with closing your garage door. But yeah, you always gotta have your sensors lined up. You ever try blocking it when the door is closing? That's also an emergency. That's also an emergency stopping feature. The release isn't always the isn't always the stopping feature. Like I said, you also want to test your safety sensor to make sure they work. See, look, lock it. Door goes back up. That's the best way. If you're trying to run under your garage door and you want it to keep closing, it's not always going to work. Also, another thing with safety sensors, never, ever, ever mount them to the ceiling. Always mount them by the door. And don't try not to mount them in a high position. Always mount them beneath the floor. Always mount them where this position is. So that... 
So that. Is Sorry the... about that cut. My phone ran out of space. But there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. If you ever have problems stopping your garage door, please watch this video because it'll be very helpful. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.